Have you guys recently switched to Vim, but are you struggling with the Vim key bindings? Well, I've struggled too over the past couple of years, but today's in today's video, I want to show you a couple of different ways that you can learn the Vim key bindings that is not only a little fun, but in my opinion, it's um, it really does help you out. So let's go ahead and switch over to the desktop here and I'll show you a couple of different programs and uh, I'll show you a program that I, I recently uh, found out about it. One of my subscribers here on the channel, uh, they told me about this program and uh, I checked it out and it's actually really fun. So um, let's go ahead and switch over to the desktop here. All right. So the first way that you could learn the Vim key bindings if you're struggling is simply using the Vim Tutor. So what's the Vim Tutor? Well, if you hop in a terminal here and you just type in Vim Tutor, okay, then the Vim Tutor will load up. And um, I believe you have to have Vim installed. Um, I think this is just a package that comes with Vim. I'm not 100% sure on that, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's in most of your uh, package repositories and stuff like that. Uh, but the Vim Tutor, pretty much, you know, it tells you in a text format here, it tells you how to move up and down. So it, it, sh it shows you right here, you know, this is how you move with the cursor. Um, and then they got different lessons and everything like that, showing you how to exit Vim. Um, then we have some lessons on text editing and deleting words and stuff like that. And this is all well and good, and this is kind of how, well, I, I think that most people would learn Vim. Um, but, recently, a couple of days ago actually, one of my subscribers mentioned to me a program or an application that I've never heard before, and um, I played around with it, and it's actually really cool. Um, and it's called Vim adventures now vim adventures is an actual game um it is a game built into your web browser um it's a website that you can go to you can and you can play it and that's really what today's video is going to be about so let me uh go ahead and pull up a web browser here and um i'll show you guys vim adventures so this is vim adventures okay and as you can see it is a it's an old retro type of game that's built into your web browser. I don't even know what language that they're using. Um, but it's actually kind of cool. Um, you can move around your character and um, you can do all the Vim key bindings. And it's supposed to teach you Vim in a nice, I don't know, a nicer way, right? So what we're going to do here, we're going to check out this, uh, we're going to check out this game and uh, we're going to try to beat level 1. Um, I'm not sure how good my uh, my movement skills are uh, with the Vim keys. Um, I am still struggling with the H, K, J, and L. Um, but I'll, I'll show you this game. So we can, if we press any key to start. So I'll hit the enter key. It says I disconnected. Well, let's reconnect to the server. Okay, so first thing we're going to notice at the very bottom here is that we have... We have some things going on. Um, we can restart the game. We can start from level three. Um, we can load a specific level. We can restore game. We can save the game. Um, so yeah, everything is built into the web browser. I'm not sure if we saved the game, if it actually wrote out a file that we downloaded. Um, I'm not sure how that would work. Um, we can log in. Uh, we can also buy a license. Now, I did some research on the licensing thing, and um, I I'm not sure what's going on. For the most part, the game does seem free, um, or at least level 1 all the way up until 3 seemed free. Um, but they do have some extra stuff at the very bottom here. So they have uh, like stuff for macros and, and everything like that, and I'm... I think these are behind the paywall. I'm not. I'm not for sure on that. Um, 
There is also a GitHub website because I thought I could find a GTK application of this program and I couldn't, uh, but there is a GitHub website where um, I'm guessing like on level nine, nine on up there's some challenges you have to do and um it kind of shows you the uh the cheats on those levels all right but let's go ahead and get into the game here um so i don't get disconnected from the server again and uh yeah let's try and try and play um so you can see um you do h j k and l the key bindings and then Yippee! you go to these guys right here and uh yeah, you're just kind of, the first level seems to be all about, you know, all about movement, all about movement. Um, so, and it's a side scroller, which is kind of like, that's super like, that's super retro right there. Um, but yeah. I am uh, not struggling as bad as I thought I would. All right, so there's a built-in help system to this game. So they do tell you um, little stuff like that. I guess you have to find these like little characters um, on the screen here, um, which is really cool. We can go over here, go up, go right, go up, Yippee! talk to that one. Okay, so they, uh, you need W, E, and B buttons to navigate words. Okay. I'm not sure what that's about, but we'll, uh, we'll go down. Get this key. So now we got we got a key here. Hop on over here. And uh we got that block. Okay. Go down, talk to this person. So this block right here is teaching you about how to jump to different lines in uh in film. So if we just keep on hitting uh, J here, we'll uh, we'll eventually go down. There we go. Shit. Yeah, and this is I mean, this is really fun. Um, this is a heck of a lot funner than the uh, you know than the Vim Tutor. And um, like I said, you know, I, I know a lot of people kind of uh, struggle with learning Vim. Uh, I struggled too. In fact, I still struggle, as you can see how slow I am Yippee! doing this. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So we got to to the end of the first like level here. Let's uh, let's do one more, and I'll, I'll show you guys. Um, now I did do the first level off camera just to uh, just to make sure that everything worked. But I haven't done this level, so um, to skip scrolling effect. Okay, okay. So that's super cool. Um, wow. Okay. What? You don't have the I button. Well, earlier it said something about the W key, didn't it? Um. Okay. I'm guessing let's just go talk to this guy. Yippee! To fulfill the prophecy, you have to understand Vim words. A word is sequence 
letters, digits, and underscores, blah, blah, blah. Finding W, B, and E will help you navigate words. Okay. We found that. W motion. Position a character at the beginning of the word. Okay. Oh, it's teaching you how to um, how to move how to move words here, like uh, how to move back and stuff. That's kind of cool. There we go. We got the the E motion key. So that's that's like forward. And that's back. And I really suck at this, don't I? <laughs> I suck at this game. It's a simple game. Come on, man. Uh, no, we gotta get the chest. We gotta get the chest. We gotta get the chest. Uh, like, I don't know what it's trying to... Um, oh, okay. There we go. Boom. Level three. Look at that. <laughs> we did it. But this has been uh, this has been actually kind of cool. Um, I am going to be playing around with this because obviously I uh, I need to refresh on my Vim skills because um, I quite suck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, check this out. Like I said, I don't know um, I don't know what's going on behind the um, the payment system whatever or the licensing um it does seem like a free game um now is it free you know um until the end of the game I, honestly I, I don't know guys uh not sure but it does seem free to um at least level three so um there you go so that's been the vim tutor and the vim um adventure game here um Tell me what you guys think. Uh, check it out if you are struggling with the Vim key bindings like I myself am. Um, but leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And uh, yeah, until next time, I want you guys to take care, be safe, and peace. Bye, guys. Thank you.